Somebody, we, we were talking about Fisherman's Friends briefly earlier. Um, I found out they make black currant flavored ones. Ooh. And like everything else that's black currant, not available in North America because nobody <laughs> ever no. developed a taste for black currant in North America, apparently. No, no, not available in the United States, but available in, or black currant stuff is not available in the United States, but available in Canada. Well, Fisherman's Friends black currant flavor uh. is not available. And there are certain other things that I've noticed but that it's also not, but. Up, yeah. up until recently, or possibly even still now, black currant is actually illegal to import into America. Yeah, because you weren't allowed <laughs> to grow the plants there because they had passed a ruling that they were like, no, we want to grow this other plant. And if we let black currants, and I think red currants were also banned, and it's like if we let currants grow here, that will crowd out the thing that we want to grow over here. And this is like back in the 17, 1800s or whenever it was, and they're just like, yeah. Can't, you can't do these anymore. It was a disease. Yeah, there was yeah. a disease they were worried about. And it, yeah. it was like there were disease they were worried about it bringing over, and they were like, eh, nobody really cares about black currants anyway. A mold that affected the timber industry. Yes, that was probably oh, a good reason yeah, as to why they, they didn't did. want to do that. Um, but but you can't get black currant stuff in Canada. Yeah. But. It is it is fewer and far between, I've noticed, for black currant flavored stuff, because I've been, I've been like, somebody sent us Hall's Soothers with a black currant flavor. Ooh. which are fantastic mm -hmm. and then when i found out that fisherman's friends makes like a dozen different flavors worldwide that some of which we've never heard of mm -hmm. and one of them was black currant i was like i'd like to know if i could get my hands on those somehow because i bet you they're fantastic um yeah i i, I greatly enjoyed the, the the um you can get um i just not too long ago discovered uh rubina i think it's called yes. oh yeah yeah uh which is yeah i think it's uh, black currant squash. Yep. Yeah, it's 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 sort of a, a concentrated black currant stuff, and it is it is excellent if you've got like a uh, soda stream or something. It is mm. an excellent uh, addition to that. Agreed. And, and in uh, British sections of uh, grocery stores everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Usually like uh, nine dollars not, a bottle here. But not in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think the United States would have a British section of their grocery. Probably um, not. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, my the More grocery home. store that I go to has a international <laughs> aisle, which has a like British section where you can get Heinz baked beans, Heinz mushy peas, occasionally jammy Dodgers, digestive biscuits. Uh, no right now. Pickles that they come up with in the UK. Um, less of those. Stuff? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's usually a kosher section, uh, Mexican area. I, I was, Indian food. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say Asian. Oh. I was gonna say it's indicative of like the the style of gross and like how big a grocery store is it it is. Like, does the international section encompass like Mexican food and uh, you know Asian food or or yeah, or is it just like uh, you know, maybe like some like a few like imported British foods or something, mm -hmm. huh. and, and the Mexican food and the and the Asian food are like their own aisles. Yeah, well, <laughs> they're it, separate. It, 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 it depends on the diaspora, right? Mm -hmm. That it's kind of like where where's the population really intense? Because like fairway markets here on the island mm -hmm. are very very Asian food focused, uh, which are fantastic because there's mm -hmm. just so much selection of stuff. Except they don't have a lot of Filipino food. Do they not? No. Huh. I didn't know that. They do not. Like, because I, it's, it's been, it, the funny thing is that you can find Longanisa and Jacino at Great Canadian's Superstore. Right. But you can't find it at the fairway, which I would think you'd find it at the it's, fairway. It's, yeah. Hmm, that makes no sense. Huh. <laughs> it's the other thing, it's, I've also found like, like, even like Walmart has like a weirdly good, like, they've got all sorts of really interesting, like Indian Food, uh, like imported Indian food and and, and uh, uh, sort of different um, things that you like you would not expect would be at like really the Walmart food section <laughs> had um, uh, at at a uh, at a Magic Fest years ago uh, we uh, I'm not gonna name names it's a fan dropped off uh, some stuff uh, from the Philippines and so uh, but among it was calamansi juice and I was like. Oh my God! Where have you been all my life? Like, <laughs> I, how do I have orange juice, but even more delicious? And like, oh, this is so good! And then you go looking for it, and yeah, nowhere to be found down mm -hmm. most most aisles. Fairway calamansi, yeah. Uh, fairway markets 
have just a single British Isle. Like some of the bigger ones mm-hmm. here on the island just have an isle. It's just like, it's all British food. We know you're out there that you want to have this, so whatever. Yeah. And, a, and a Mexican food aisle, which is just, I've oh. seen like stuff in Erdes cans that I'm just kind of like, I have never seen those before. That's so cool. All right, Chipotle's. Let's try Chipotle's. Oh, I've made a mistake. <laughs> oh, those are the best. Did, didn't know how to eat these. <laughs> I mean, I, you don't like just eat them. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> I, I did, find it interesting that you were like, oh, and an Indian area yeah. where the extent of the Indian food at my grocery store and most of the ones around me is the like microwavable curry in a bag, oh, and yeah. they generally have about mm-hmm. like five or six options, and that's it. Right. <laughs> Then and yet we'll have like um, Superstore in Langford here mm-hmm. has uh, in in their international aisle about a third of it is is basically just Indian food. Like that is a very <sighs> good. Yeah, yeah. That's a, like, choices in rice. I'm surprised. I was surprised by how good the uh, um, international food aisle was at uh, the Superstore um, because they had the sweet banana cake chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, which you ooh. make. Which you make. You use the banana cake chip to make tomato sauce. Then you put the hot dogs in, and that's oh, okay. That's Filipino spaghetti sauce. Neato. Mm-hmm. The same one I have. Yeah, I want to go back to It's like that. It's like a massive oh, Indian aisle, and then another like two or three other international aisles. Yeah, there's one that they call South Asian food that I've I've walked down where I'm just like this is. Like, this is intense. Like, the selection is incredible. But it's only in a couple of the Save-On Foods, I think. Like the biggest ones, I think, that we have I mean, have that. I, there's also that distinction of, like, is it Mexican food prepared, like, produced by... By way of USA? By by Canadian or, or American companies. Yeah. Or is it Mexican food that has no English writing on the box? <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. is it, yeah. It's, it's pure import only, yeah. yeah. Or it's got, like, the sticker yeah, the on it. Oh, the, yeah. the nutritional That's label. English. Yeah. It's, it's we, got the sticker because you have to have that to import it. We have a Japanese grocery in town called Fujia. It's a chain. Mm, and yeah. it is not a very big place, but they pack it real tight, and that's where I go buy rice and stuff, and and sauces and uh, curry roux and the soba and everything. And that's also though the best to me. It's the best sushi place in town because it's a they have a kitchen in the back. It's about half the half the whole place is just kitchen in the back where they're just oh. making sushi all the time, and uh, and then they have uh, freezer cat like the you know fridge freezer kind of cabinet thing where they just keep loading more and more stuff into them. Um, so that's kind of like, I want to go drop like 40 bucks on sushi and walk away with like a stack, you know, like that kind of idea. Sometimes you get lucky. <laughs> Sometimes you show up and it's like, the prices had to go up a bit, but it's like, there was years ago, they, they didn't know, I think, that time service is not a thing that we do. And time service is a Japanese thing where uh, when it's about an hour or a half hour before close, mm-hmm. you got to clear out all your food. Mm-hmm. So they started, They were doing time service where everything is 50% off. <gasps> and so I'd ride in there and be like, suffer time, you know, <laughs> just load up with tons of food. And we, Heather and I did that in Japan when we were uh, in multiple places that I, I remember time service was a thing because we watched an anime oh. about it. And uh, it was a fighting anime about time service. And... Uh, <laughs> And yeah, we were, um, uh, so we would, we would eat in the evenings most times. We'd be like, what do you want to get for supper? It's like, I don't know, we just go to the supermarket and see what they've got. And buy a whole bunch of stuff that was on 50% off and go back to the hotel and eat that and then maybe go do something else. And it kept, kept the expenses down. But Fujia was doing it for months. And I think they finally learned that, oh my God, all these people are showing up a half hour before we close, but they're not buying anything during the day. So they stopped it and... They had they still run out of stuff uh, in the evening, but at least it got people into the store knowing about yeah. knowing about the place. So yeah, for for those locals, uh, apparently you can get calamansi juice at the Save One at Uptown. Ooh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you have to pick that up. All right, that's what their online store says. <coughs> yeah, that's true. You can just you can do an online order. And actually, I think Loblaws, like superstore in town, did a calamansi lemonade for the summer. Oh. They were do they yeah. they've been doing more of that. I've been noticing. Where is, sorry, is calamansi like a, a citrus? It's it's a it's a fruit. Yeah, very, <laughs> I, very I, orange. Yeah, I was like, is it a brand or is yeah, it? Yeah. Oh no, sorry, no. They, is that like how a chicken is a fruit? Yes, <laughs> just like how a chicken is a fruit. <laughs> because they're citrus I, as well, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
know what the no, word. No, there's stone fruit. That's fair. Why would you? The <laughs> You're right. I'd never heard of it before either. So, um, but uh, yeah, it was really. Uh, <laughs> Richard Zeta's going to do a calamansi juice dump truck. No, uh, no, probably not. <laughs> so they're delicious though. 